Hey, I'm Alan Puccinelli with Voodoo.com again. Today we're going to show you how to take this egg and get it inside this milk bottle. Why would you want to do that, you ask? It's cool. It's in the name of science. So have a look at this. Here's a quick look at what you'll need to do this. A milk bottle, a hard-boiled egg, shell remove, matches, and some paper. Alright, this is really quite simple to do. Be careful with the fire, though. Have an extinguisher handy. Light the match and drop it in the bottle. Place the hard-boiled egg on top of the milk bottle, making sure there's an airtight seal around the opening, and watch what happens. Hmm, didn't quite make it in all the way. Let's try this again. This time, let's light a piece of paper so we have a little more fire in the bottle. Whoa, that happened fast. But what's going on here? Why does this happen? Two words, expansion and contraction. When things heat up, they expand, and air molecules are no exception. The heated air from the flame expands inside the bottle. When all the oxygen is used up due to the egg covering the bottle opening, the fire dies and the air inside the bottle cools again, causing it to contract. Now that there's an egg in the way of the opening, though, air can't get into the bottle and a vacuum is created. That vacuum is what sucks the egg into the bottle. So on the first attempt, since there was less flame, the air didn't expand as much and the vacuum wasn't as strong, which is why the egg didn't get pulled all the way in. Here's a more visible example of this effect using a balloon. Notice how the balloon inflates inwards as the air inside the bottle continues to contract? Pretty cool, huh? Yet another neat one of life's little mysteries. For ViewDo.com, I'm Alan Puccinelli.